Orthodox? Yeah, they're Hasidics. Okay, we're back. We're back. 938. Hello, 938. I got your phone call. How can I help? Yeah, I'm just calling in to let you guys know. Uh, 80 seconds of the pal. I, uh, there's a guy that fell on my bus. Um, asked him if he needed any medical or anything. He said he was fine. Completely fine. He walked off. What do you think? That was a stop, so. Just letting you guys know so you guys know if there's a call that comes in what? later. Oh, okay, copy. Uh, how did he fall? Did, it, did you see him fall? Oh, one more time. How did he fall? How was it that he fell? Did he trip over the, the doorway or how, how was it that he fell? No, uh, my light turned green. I uh, took off and he was um, assuming he was standing up as as I was taking off because it was coming up uh -oh. to 80 seconds. And uh, that's how he fell. Okay, you have a PA, man. Okay, copy. All right, I will send uh, an acid number to your cat. I think it's on Alvarez Report just to have it documented and uh, that should be good. Yeah. Copy, thank you. Mm. Look down there. Seventy-five or seven seven zero eight, still at World's Quarter. All right, seven seven zero eight, please run away. Is he still there with you? No, he just walked around the um, edge of the uh, uh, operator sh uh, shack here and walked down into the uh, uh, transit area. Okay, copy. Uh, your window, uh, which window was it that was shattered? Um, and is it intact or is it just side of it? Uh, it's the forward top door window that is broken and uh, it's it's still all intact, but uh, it's, and I can see out of it. Okay, copy. We're, we're sending a supervisor your way, just kind of hold there. And uh, I'm going to update police as to where, which way he went. Okay, copy. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, 1625. So there's the town of Loft, that's up north. The town of who? Loft. Loft? 708 northbound, 12th and Gideon. 708, I got a route block. Um, is that the train? Yeah, yeah, it's the train. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, are you in a position where you can do the reroute? Nope, you're pal. Dream. Driver got a stand still. How can I help you? 074, I'm block 2075. I'm currently on Burnside, approaching Barnes, and I am northbound. Okay, good evening. Hey, 2075, how can I help you? Yes, uh, so I'm here and traffic is at a complete uh, standstill. I've been here idle for about five minutes. I was wondering if you had inf any, inf any information as to what uh, what has happened. Portland traffic. Well, there was a car accident as well a while ago. One lane was getting through, and now that no lanes are getting through, that leads me to believe that they're towing the vehicles right now. So it should be clear soon, so just be patient. Uh, copy that. Mm -hmm. All right. Six eight outbound on Jefferson and Six. Um, I am driving in twenty eight hundred, and the windows are fogged up in the back. I remember in training they told us about how to unfog them, and I can't remember what it is. Well, um, for starters, make sure your defrosters are on, and turn your window fans facing out the windows. And if it gets real bad, you can always pop open your roof hatch. Ten four is probably the roof hatch at this point because it's. The windows are in the back, because those are the ones in the back that are soft. Okay, I'll try that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, anything to get the humidity um, out of the air. 10-4, thank you. 1628. Uh, not really. <laughs> Just drank. Drank and smoked pot. <clears throat> 702, I need you to head over to Rose Quarter and trade buses with 7708, they're in vehicle 3510, and that is an outbound trip. So if you want to pull up behind them so you can trade buses with them. Okay. So you said bus um, route 7708, what was the bus number for that? It's 
Okay. How you doing, brother? Uh, 7708 at the uh, Rose Quarter still. Hi, 7708. Uh, the extra service should be there pretty quick uh, to get you traded out. Um, let's see. Uh, how many people do you have on board? I have about a dozen on here right now. A bunch of people who have already gotten off. Okay, copy. All right, it should just be just a little bit longer, and we'll get you uh, yeah. fixed up with a new bus. Um, mm -hmm. How are you doing anyway? Are you, are you checking up at all, or right. do you think you'll be able to drive? Oh, no, I'm okay. Yeah, no problem. Oh, good. I just wanted to check on you. All right, um, as soon as you have a new bus, uh, uh, just on, let us know. Uh, um, YouTube, because they're in, doing I'm it. not sure how far away the supervisor is, because but uh, poster, I can put uh, if nothing else, if we get you traded out, uh, we'll just go ahead and have a meet up with you later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Train, sleeper, we'll skip. I got them. New bus, 19 minutes late. I have to skip through these. 2045 at Burnside and King Drive, heading outbound to Beaverton. 2045, what can I do for you? I'm almost 19 minutes late and my follower is right behind me. Okay. Uh -oh. Let's, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get you drop off only. Um, if you see any large groups of folks, uh, go ahead and help your follower out there. Uh, I don't want to completely slam him or have people waiting for three buses. Uh, other than that, your drop off only to the end of the line. Thank you very much. Thank All you. Right. Take care of that. Take care of that. Uh-oh, back. Six, six, nine. Yeah, 669, got an operator real. Yeah, I don't know how much more I can take. Oh, my back <laughs> is killing me. I'm leaving uh, Chanson Beach right now. Okay, um, do you think you can make it to the end of the line? Are no. you going to be able to drive the bus back to the garage? No, do you need me no. to send medical to you? No. I don't know if you guys are aware of the situation. I just came back um, three weeks ago. Um, I'm going to brace my back. Um, it's hurting me really, really bad. Um, I can probably make it to Goose Hollow. Okay. Are you able to drive the bus back from Goose Hollow to the garage, or do I need to try to find alternative uh, transportation for you? I can make it back to the garage. It's just hard to breathe. It hurts so bad. Okay. I copy. Um, I'll get a hold of the yeah, station. Yeah, yeah. She's in pain. I mean... That job will kill you, man. That physically, that job can kill. <laughs> yeah, right. No, that job will kill you, man. It's just, it's very hard on you. Seventy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm wondering if you can turn right. It's either. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's a military model, you know. You know, you're you're right you're either. the yeah. you're the soldier, and you're expected to just do it. Suck it up. You know? Right at Cedar, left on University, <laughs> and left on Main. I'm just not sure if that's going to get you yeah. past where it's being Exactly. Uh, the parade is coming down Main, crossing um, Pacific Avenue and heading down towards 19th, so I don't believe I'm going to be able to go down Main at all. That's what's blocked off. I'm pretty sure... It, from the looks of it, it's at College Avenue Way. The next stop is where they've got everybody diverting to the left. Okay, so what about turning left at mm -hmm. Cedar? Turning right All on right. 18th. All right, good luck, driver. La Verbal. That was my favorite. Yeah, you know what? Okay, never mind. Oh, no. He's in the doorway. Poor little situation here. All right, anything physical or is it just all verbal? It's all verbal. And now she's off the bus, out the door. I'm going to try and get out of here. Copy that. Yeah, as soon as you can close the door, do so, and go ahead and roll. Send me ready for service once you're clear and safe, okay? Yeah, I'm rolling now. That was... <laughs> you appreciating this. Yeah. I'm screaming at you. Close the door and get out of there. <laughs>
Hello, 2435. Hello, 2445. Uh, Station agent would like to know if you would be okay with being traded into a 5 a.m. report for tomorrow. I would like to keep my 310. Um, thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll let them know. Not a problem. Nope. Jen, what that shit? Hello, 1904. I got your. Uh, Didn't I bring up a dog? I have a full bus on Milwaukee yep, heading uh, northbound and just hit a dog. He come running out in front of me out of nowhere. The owner let him off the leash and he came out and hit him, but he's up and he took off down the hill, so I don't some of my passengers are looking for him. <laughs> okay, copy. Um how big of a dog is it? How big Could you tell dog? a breed? And which direction did it look like it went? Uh, probably 40, 45 pounds. Uh, I'm not sure of the breed. Uh, they went down toward uh, the block. The dog and took off so they the went, uh, <laughs> I guess what, uh, east of us. Okay. I will call for uh, the city to see if I can uh, get somebody on over there to help to look for him. Um, are you okay? <laughs> oh, the, the person with the dog, did they just... They didn't try to go find it, or well, um, if, if the person is no longer there, uh, I would go ahead and I mean, can hmm, one moment. I just want to double check. The person she is gone. She gets easily that particular dispatcher. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'll send the information to your dad on an incident report just to have it documented. Um, but uh, there's not much we can do if, if the person or the animal is no longer there. Uh, hit and roll, and I will call the city see if we can uh, see if we can track them down. But um, yeah, I'll send the information to your chat. Right, that is, if you're going to be okay to roll, are you are you going to? I mean, you said you were shaking up. Um, do you think you you need to uh, take a little time? I changed the plan. It looks like the owner is here now. She's standing on the corner, so she is here with the dog. So a couple of the passengers are off talking to him. And yeah, I'm. I'm. I don't know if I can roll right now. To be honest with you, I'm. I'm pretty shaken up about it. He is here, dog. Okay. Is here. Uh, well, if you want to exchange information with the owner to see, I it's mean, very, there's not much that we can, you know, if she didn't have it on leash. Yeah. But uh, you just have them. I never had that. Ask happen. them if they want medical for their animal. We can call for. Uh, you know, I never hear anything. We can call somebody, maybe. Lucky or look good or something, I don't know. I never hear anything. Nothing hit me. Hello, 1904. Uh, how are you doing? I'm <laughs> doing all right, I guess. I, should I go ahead and just roll out? There's someone waiting to pick up my bus over on Milwaukee at Powell, and I have to go to Milwaukee to, to relieve another bus. Okay. Um, uh, I suppose your bus on the way. Uh, are you going to be able to ro roll? Um, I mean, are you going to be okay to drive even your... Your second shift. I, I mean, I'll once I get to uh, my relief point, I'll just have to take help for us and see. I mean, I can let you guys know. Yeah, yeah, you'll be all right. It's only a dog, right? Train. Let us know why it's running late. By the train, it can be anywhere from two minutes to forty-five minutes. So it's best to document your on-time performance uh -oh. uh, and let us know why you're running late. Copy that. That's uh, that's kind of what I figured, um, but I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, and depending where you're at, sometimes the supervisors can get you back out of it. Copy that, and, and you know that actually brings up another question I had. I know there is a there's a flashing light uh, just this side of twenty nine hundred block stop on Front Street coming this way. Uh, if we see those lights flashing, should I call that in from there and see what you want me to do, or uh, just uh, how, is that, or just come on in? Yeah, if you see them far enough back where you can do the detour, give me a call and we'll get you guys on reroute. Okie dokie. Junk printers, just drive. I like the just drive ones. This is the 5472 going southbound on Barber Boulevard at uh, Sheridan. Actually, it's NATO and Sheridan. You had your report of hazard. What's up? Yeah, the hazard at uh, the stop at 5th and Clay. You've got a garbage can that has been knocked over out of its uh, support system and also a signage. It's uh, about six feet tall and it's knocked over close to where people are standing for the bus. <laughs> they knocked out of its... Uh, Just fucking drive. Uh, 5771 
um, I was heading back to the garage and I got the reroute to turn left to 209th, which I did. It says to turn right on Johnson, but right there there's a sign that says no three trucks and it's a very narrow opening. I mean, I traffic was backing up, so I turned left on Johnson and drove a little ways and stopped until I could call you. Okay, so besides the no truck sign. All right, well, that's fine. 940, I got your mechanical. What's going on? Well, unfortunately, that's not something that they can fix out on the road. And we don't have any trucks out today anyway. Um, no trucks out today, because why would a transit district need trucks out on the road? 4867. A little girl just threw up on the bus. Uh -oh. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we have to take that bus out of service now yep. since there's a biohazard on it. So, no. we will send a bus to uh, trade you at Sunset Transit Center. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. In the background there, you can hear the sun at Hightower. Oh, sorry. No, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. We like, yeah, it's going to pick it up, but it's okay. Sun at Hightower is uh, visiting right now. This is 7248, Kellingsworth and 64. 7248, I got your request to talk. How can I help? I just had two people on the bus, a man and a woman, and they had a dog with them. And um, I picked them up at 40 seconds to Linksworth, and she had just run up. I believe she came out of an actual food store, and she had just run up, and they were just acting very sketch, and um, had left something in a grocery cart, or were grabbing something out of a grocery cart. It turns out it was a purse. I just get the feeling that they stole a purse when they were in that area, so I just want Mind your own business, as the cha cha says. <laughs> Hello, 3304. I got your request to talk. Talk to help. Thank you. Um, I know that there's a reroute around the Clackamas Town Center, and I, of course, don't have it memorized. I know generally what it is, but there's nothing in my pouch about it, uh, nothing about times or any description of it, and I was um, kind of uh, a little concerned about my not being able to figure it out on my own. Well, let me take a look. Uh, I believe it's in the scheduled messages. One moment. All right, yeah, it, it should be uh, coming through on your messages in your chat. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, this looks like a good one. Carson, 772, I'm at the BFT Transit Station. 5772, what can I do for you? I'm a live verbal, I'm dropping off at the right of the BFT Transit Station. <laughs> All right, are they being compliant in the boarding? I'm sorry, I don't know the question. Are they being compliant in the boarding? Yeah, now they are. Um, he was massaging himself. <laughs> That's why I kicked him off. Oh my God. I copy. Do we have a description? Tall, lean, white, well, off beard, mustache, red and black coat, black sweats. He mm -hmm. takes his shoes off on the bus. Okay. Um, do we have an approximate age? He took his shoes off on the bus. I don't think that's actually technically a problem. Do you? I think you can do that. Oh, yeah, this is the, listen to this one. Yeah, it's 772, I'm at the Murray and TV Highway stop heading west. 5772, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to update that guy. It looked a lot like the barber. I, I don't know if the barber is a tall guy like this, but he did, he was had a lot of similar features as that guy. Yeah. Okay, I copy. Um, I don't know if things would change, but typically, uh, he's yeah. been known to frequent the south southeast areas of Portland, not yeah, the west side. Up. But that's not saying it's not him. All right, thank you. Maybe he changed up, you know. All right, no worries. He's now in Hillsborough looking for somebody to masturbate. He didn't log out. Oh fuck. Nine forty North Terminal. 9.40. Didn't you forget to log out of the other bus? No, I logged out. I, I checked, uh, I double-checked it with the guy that uh, got on the bus. Okay. 
So you logged out of the operator's number and the block number as well. No, I don't believe I logged out of the block number. All right. Yeah, two-step process. Fired. Okay, next. Yeah, 7503, uh, the light at Lombard and Interstate is not cycling correctly. I sat here for five solid minutes. The westbound direction is not cycling. <laughs> okay, copy. I'll call the city and let them know. Thank you for letting us know. Yeah. Thank you. Call the city. Yes, good evening. This is the 901. I'm sitting at uh, 6 in Flanders, the layover. I've got a sleeper on my bus, and I can't seem to wake him up. He, he kind of opens his eyes, and then he goes back to sleep. And um, what do I do? All right, well, stay there at Flanders. We'll get a supervisor to you. All right, don't do anything. Uh, yeah, this is 1935. I'm on the... Uh, on six, and uh, I've got a customer standing at my door trying to find sixteen. Where where can he get on the number sixteen? Where do you where where do you, where do you want to go? Yeah. Number sixteen going to Sabi. Newbie. Oops. Okay. Okay. You got this. Uh, Nine thirty-five at North Terminal. Nine thirty-five. Go ahead. Well, I was hoping maybe to review the last uh, message you guys sent to me on my cat at 843. Can you give me an idea what it said? Oh, I, I can read it to you. Um, it says, hello, road supervisor. <coughs> Clock to you leaving early from your last time point, 6 and Alder. Please be sure to zero out your time. Thank you. Yeah. That was the call we got from the road supervisor downtown, downtown, and my partner that took the call from that supervisor sent you that text message as a friendly reminder. Okay, well here's my, the, the reason I'm confused is that, and this has been going on for well over a year I believe, mm -hmm. if we hit our last time point before hitting downtown and we don't leave that early, we don't have to be on time downtown. We can run it hot. Right. And that was my last understanding, too. But again, I did not take the call from the supervisor, so I'll double check with the supervisor. Okay. Well, there were several drivers uh, at North Terminal having their break, and I ran it past them, and they're all kind of thinking the same thing, so. Yeah, the driver's right. He does not have to be on time at that last stop. Uh, 935 at North Terminal. 935, go ahead. Well, I was hoping maybe to review the last uh, message oh, man, you guys sent to me. I just did it, man. All right. 2073. Hello, 2073. Um, is there any medical needed? No, there's no medical needed. Um, I am starting to hand out cards to all the people on the bus now. All right, perfect. Um, how, how did it happen? Could you give me a kind of a breakdown of, of what happened with the accident? Yeah, um, I was in the right lane. There's a, um, right at the McDonald's, um, just past maybe, my next stop is 84th, it says 500, or 85th, it says 579 feet. So I'm probably around 80. Fourth, I guess, at the McDonald's. He needs it. I asked him why he turned in front of the bus. He said he needed to get into this lots of PTA store or something. He needs to go in there. So he just turned from the middle lane in front of me. I hit the brakes somewhat, but I've got people on board, and then I swerved into the other lane of traffic. No one was beside me, and I could not avoid him. I hit the side, um, middle, and back of his car. Okay, copy. Uh, have you had a chance to try to give him your information? It, did he stay on scene right there with you? He he actually went towards the store, but when I went looking for him, he came he came back. So um, I have not exchanged information with him yet. Should I do that before I hand out cards to the people that are on the bus? 
Well, let's go ahead and make an announcement uh, for everybody on board. If they want to get the cards, you can just leave them on the on the uh, the ledge right there on your bus. Then come up. You, if you have any pens or pencils, you can you can leave them there. And then go ahead and take your other cards over to him and exchange them both while he's there, so he doesn't take off before uh, you're able to exchange. And we're getting a supervisor your way. And yep. 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 Oh well. We don't know if that will be a PA or not. So it should be on the card, uh, you know, it, it'll have TriMet's information on it as far as, like, the back part will have the exoneration form on the back, but it's that information card that they need. Um, it'll, it, they, all they need to do is uh, get, give all the information that's off that card, and they can, they can proceed with the, the incident claim. Um, yeah, that, that should be all on there uh, as far as... Uh, we carry our own insurance, so it's it's all on that card right there. That's the card I'm not I'm not finding. Um, I should see the driver's exoneration form. Um, okay. Um, so I'm not finding the thing with the insurance you're talking about. There isn't actually one for insurance. It's uh. Oh. All they, they, what they need to do is, it'll show it on the card that they need to call uh -huh. claims, and claims will follow through with everything for them. Yeah, that um, too, right? Here, uh, so I believe it's. Uh, I, thank you. I believe it's a yellow card that you want to look for. Um, uh, there's the exoneration form, and then uh, there's the witness cards, and oh, it's the orange card that you're looking for. It's the TriMet information card. Um, Let's see. You get the information from them, and uh, they can write their insurance information on the back. And as far as claims, um, I'll give you a phone number for claims if you're ready to copy. Okay, I found the orange information. So this is what I give to the other driver. And it has a phone number at the bottom to call about this um, Incident. Is that what I exchange with them? Correct. Yes. Uh, you'll you'll fill in your information as far as like the date, the time, the line of train at the top, location. Uh, you can put your operator's name and badge in there, your driver's license number, and expiration date. Uh, you give that to them, and they can they can call that phone number. It's the bottom of that is the claims number, and then uh, for their yeah, isn't that nice? There we go. Someone in panic. Next. Seven nine thirty four. Go ahead. Hey Ryan, it's Lisa. Hey, when you park your bus, there might be somebody kind of in a panic looking for a cell phone. Can you take a minute to see if you can find that person that's looking for their cell phone? I have the. I know which bus has it, and um, if you can find out, you know what kind of phone it is, make sure we got the right person. Okay, is it the layover zone or the pickup zone? Yeah, affirmative. They should be right there at the pickup zone. I've had two buses call me, but nobody's stuck around, so I haven't been able to make contact with the passenger. Well, that's nice of them. Hi, Northern 21. Two stand ahead of them. Yes, we got a line nine reporting uh, westbound on Powell at 158. There's a wire hanging down at the stop. Oh, good. Yeah, ma'am. Cars parking service lane, forget it. The Australian. Uh, 70, 7238, operator 20375. Uh, bus shelter number 3199. There's a large tree next to it that's falling over and the roots are coming up and it's going to fall on some. That's a, that's a different Australian. Body, so some, it needs to be looked at. Copy that. You said, uh, let's stop 3199 is the ID. Yes, that's correct, and uh, it's at the corner of North East Killingsworth and 42nd East. <laughs> God boy, I screamed. A report from line 7238 that at the stop at Killingsworth and 42nd Eastbound, there is a tree that is falling over there. Uh, copy, heading that way, clean to us and 40 seconds. Yeah, go get the free. Go check it out, Supervisor. 10. 
Yeah, this individual is afraid to get off the bus because he believes somebody is following him and his life's in danger. So I told him that uh, you know, this particular bus is out of service, but he still is reluctant to want to get off. Uh, he says he needs uh, some kind of professional help to help keep him safe. So I'm going to call for uh, 911. So if we can, we can get CPD to come out here. I appreciate it. Can you give me a description of this person? Yes, uh, he's a black male. Looks like maybe he's in his late 20s. Uh, he looks clean. Uh, Probably not schizophrenic. Move signal. Chairs on. You can only do two wheelchairs, whatever is legally um, able to be strapped in. Um, so uh, you have one walker and three wheelchairs? Um, two wheelchairs and one walker, um, so a total of three. Um, but yeah, two, two wheelchairs and one walker. Okay, so can the wheelchairs sit in in the wheelchair slots and then the person with the walker, can they sit in the jump seat there right on the right-hand side of the bus? Yeah, we're still trying to figure that out. Um, we're going to have the wheelchair back out, then the walker is going to get out, and then uh, see if that will work. Because you should be able to fit the two wheelchairs in the wheelchair spots, and then the person with the walker can... Yeah, that's not a big deal. What's the big deal with that? Figure it out. Figure it out. This is 5772. I'm at the baseline at 4th East Stop. Hey Elizabeth, it's Lisa. I got your request to talk. How can I help you? Um, I've been out hearing a lot of different information about hand trucks being allowed on the bus. Um, is that something that's allowed now, even the metal hand trucks? Yes, it's allowed. We've heard it multiple times. Yeah, as far as we're both concerned up here, no, they're not allowed on the bus. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, hold on just a sec, will you? Uh, they're not allowed. Yeah, unfortunately, that dispatch is wrong. We've other dispatchers say they are. The SOP has changed. Let's see what you guys. Reason they're not allowed on the vehicles is they're not securable. You can't secure it um, into a safe manner that they fall. You know, they easily can fall over. Um, they can't be secured with the straps or anything like that. And yes, I know the customer is going to say, I'll hold on to it, I promise. All it takes is a second for them to let go of it and something goes flying. Right, I know. I'm sure they like to go flying through the windows. Um, hold on one second, Walter. Thanks. Yeah, well, they're wrong. Okay. Two-wheel and four-wheel shopping carts, this is TriMet, the TriMet policy, are allowed but must be within the maximum dimensions, 18 by 18 by 30 inches high, excluding wheels and handles. Dispatch just gave out erroneous information, but whatever, it's just another day at tournament. Block 467 at Marlow Garage. Good morning, Terry. It's Lisa. What can I do for you? So I've never seen this before, but one of the lights above the back door and then the light that's um, to the rear of the gas, uh, where the gas goes in, um, are out. So is that something that I need to go to pull out repair prior to going on route, or can I go on route and just write up that those are out? Uh, for safety precaution, just go to pull out repair. If they want you to write a work card on it, um, they'll tell you if they want to fix it, they'll do that too. Yeah, yeah. Beeping sound, traded her out. Mr. Turn, next. 704, Northeast 42nd and Sandy. 7704, and that's Troutdale, and you have a request to talk. How can we help? Well, unfortunately, I missed my right on to Broadway, and I am at Northeast 42nd and Sandy. How do you want me to get back on route? All right. They'll get you. They'll get you. So uh, on Sandy, you can make that right onto Hancock. It's kind of a, a veer right. And then you just take Hancock up to... up to 47th. Yeah, yeah. I'll we'll give you the directions. Good luck. Good luck, bus driver. PCC was closed. Marathon on today. Uh, good morning, 
Morgan, this is 3567. Um, I can't find any information on John Jacob's school. I'm assuming that must be a part of the University of Portland. Is a passenger on your bus looking for it? There's a half marathon today, holiday half marathon, and I'm on reroute. So, all right, good luck, bus driver. Junk printer. There's always the junk printer. I have to call the station agent at Powell. 7241, can you hear me? 7241, I'm not getting a response from you. Are you holding down the key when you're talking on the, the handset? Yes, I heard you. You said when I arrive at my layover there, when I'm about to start my run to call the station agent at Powell Garage. And I'm going to be late because there is traffic here. I don't know what is going on. And I left on time, but... Fire the guy. Who is he, who is he talking about? He's a lying piece of shit. Got a mechanical rolling. My signs were working uh, earlier this morning, but uh, after I pulled up to my first stop, none of my signs are working for external signs. Well, that's the same old, same old. Come on, come on, come on. 44, how can I help? At number, number 20563, just checking in. I'm in line training. Uh, thank you. All right, perfect. And I got your trainer's number as 7399. Sounds good. Thank you. Well, good right. two shoes for you. You're in line team. Block 407, uh, laying over at Jefferson and Maine. 407, I got your priority request to talk. How can I help you? Hey, um, I'm having a really difficult time uh, with, um, I must have through. This is the second call on this, in this one segment. Some part of my lower back out because, um, the pain is almost unbearable to the point where I can't concentrate on driving the bus. Okay. Do you need medical? Negative. I just need somebody to come and take over so I can mark off for today so I can go see a chiropractor or something because something needs to be set back in place and it's, it's pretty bad. Okay. Just tie it up. Do not continue in service. And I will... See if your garage can possibly send out an operator to take over that bus for you. If by chance um, they can send, a, they could send them in a car. Would you be okay to possibly drive the company car back? I'm just throwing this out there. I don't know that that's an option, but I just want to know if that would work for you. Um, I'm fine driving a car back to the garage. It's just I wasn't comfortable doing 10 hours of this run if I'm already feeling this way just after one trip, you know. Yep, you're done. Go home. Work on it. Houston bus 3308 tied up Jefferson and Fifth. He did something to his back, and he's saying it's hurting so bad that he's um, wanting to mark off we're going to have him hold for you. I figure we'll see if we can get a uh, station agent to call and see if they have any extra bodies. Hi, copy. Oh, uh, hey. Do they have any bodies? Probably not. Probably not. 407. Hello, 407. We got a hold of the station agent. They are sending an operator in the company car to come relieve your bus. That's good. And it is being filled actually by extra service. So but they're coming. Um, they should be there pretty quick. So I hope you feel better. Yeah, good for them. They got a company car and he's on can go home. Just go out to sleep for ninety one oh four paper turn transit center. I have twelve sixty nine bus three zero two one they are at Tiger Transit Center with the sleeper on the bus. Um, they, I feel like the sleeper might be sleeping on the floor now. So my partner is going to go ahead and send medical. Okay. How, they, how long are they there? I'm over here at Beaverton, so my 
It takes me about 10 minutes to get there. They're due out at 9 o'clock. Okay, touch and go. Okay, I'll head that way. Thank you. He's sleeping on the floor. Why not, right? Just sleep. Good morning, 7239. 7239, good morning. What can I do for you? Right at stop 3201, there is a black male with white sweatpants with a design on them, hat, and a white female with short hair throwing blows, like going at it. Okay. Uh... Male versus female. No, that's a way to go. Fall back, mirror, mirror, well, mirror. Is your mirror shattered or cracked? It looks like he damaged the housing pretty good, but the mirror itself is still intact. It bent it all. It's now kind of bent up a little bit, but and the bottom mirror is kind of loose, not hanging on very well. But I think it'll be fine for the rest of this trip. I want to get back to Gresham. I'm done for the day, so. And I don't know if there's any other damage outside the bus. I didn't get out to look to see if there's scratches or marks, because, I mean, he was right up against the bus. All right, I copy. So, do you know what the... And they didn't stop, of course, right? No, my honks tried to get them to stop. They kept going. It was like a work truck. I'm sorry, I didn't get a very good look at what kind of work truck it was, but it was like a big like work truck, like a pier type truck or something like that. Okie dokie, mirrored, mirrored. I know you're clear in Oregon City. I have 2034 that had a mirror strike that we just need to check for damage. They're done when they get to Gresham. Could you maybe... Yeah, go check them. Because, you know, they can't do that themselves, right? 5770, uh, eastbound on Southwest Canyon and Watson. I have a, a a high exhaust temp light that is on, and I it looks like I'm tacked at four out of four on the gauge. Uh -oh. Okay, no, this is going to sound crazy, but it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. It's burning the stuff from the fuel. Um, you yep, just drive, buddy. Should we go ahead? Yeah, that, I know you heard about that seventy-two. They didn't do the didn't follow the reroute, but I didn't hurt defense. Um, the reroute is at 3.30 a.m. until clear. I don't know why if Holtz did that, but they should have never done that. But So can you send a message to make sure that... Uh, yeah, well, no big deal. Just didn't do the reroute. Nobody gets picked up. 9908. 9908. All right, all I was able to do for 2039 was wrap some caution tape around that uh, particular bike rack so nobody would try to use it. I don't know if you're in a position to get it traded at some point today. Caution around the bike rack. No, just drive. 1405 at Hawthorne and um, 37th headed westbound. Just wanted to let you know that there is a uh, broken down vehicle on Hawthorne and Cesar Chavez on the east side of Cesar Chavez. Yep. Just fucking dry, mother. Okay, coin jam, forget it. Six six seven, uh, inbound at uh, Delta Park, Wentworth, uh, Max Station. Hello, six six seven. How can I help you? I have no rider right now, but my last rider is a young man. He threw out twice at the back door and. Uh, the floor is now wet with his, uh, you know, vomiting. He said he was sick and he got off the bus right, or he got off the bus to the train. Okay, so I want to be clear, the passengers threw up on your bus by the back door? Right, he did throw up twice and uh, I saw the, the floor is now wet. Okay, and you have no passengers on your bus right now, correct? Right. I I have to go to uh, uh, Goose Hollow to uh, change the driver. I'm done for today. I understand that. I'm going to have to have you go to um, Center Garage. 
pull out repairs and have them uh, clean that up. Yep. I sure. Six six seven. Hello, 667. I talked to the mechanics. They want you to just park the bus in the work line. Make sure that you write a card saying exactly where the biohazard is, please. And you can get a bus off track 29, off the front of 29. I don't have the number, so when you get in that bus, start it up, um, and you send your ready for service, we'll get the information then. Okay. Okay, I go to the center garage and then find the track 29 and uh, ride up this bus. Yes. Seventy one oh six. Go ahead. Um, I'm at Park Road right now. Uh, a customer came up to me, um, said that she saw a person urinating in the corner. So I told her I'd call, let somebody know, maybe get a road sweep out here. Um, eh, just drive. Oh, dispatch says it's not a crime, right? 667, uh, arrive at center garage at uh, spotter office front. Okay, so see, as you're, so go ahead and pull all the way in, and you see those buses over on your left-hand side facing you behind, like, the TriMet vans. You're going to park down at the very end of those buses. Okay. 1271. Hey, 1271, what can I help? Yes, good afternoon. I had a handheld and six. I refused his passenger because he had uh, blood on him, and it was leaking from his mouth, and he was intoxicated, so I didn't let him on the bus. Oh, boy, let him bleed to okay, death. Okay, I got the Let him bleed to death. On the side of the road. Fourteen oh six. Hello, fourteen oh six. Station agent wants to know if you would be okay continuing on the run until two thirty five, or would you rather be relieved at the Foster layover? Um, I did have something actually planned for today, so if they could get me at the layover, that would be great. Denied. She wants out. Four four six nine. Um, at my uh, beginning time point here on six in Washington. Um, just took over the bus. Um, it's a quite a strong smell of urine in the front compartment, and it, I think I, I actually see where it might be on the floor in the ADA area. Pull the damn bus. Get out of there. Flying to be five chain oh one. I uh, have a uh, stroller on board that uh, don't want to be folded and don't want to uh, uh, the baby don't want to be taken out. I just wanted to let you know just in case something happens. Did you say they won't take the baby out of the stroller? Oh uh, yeah, I have a, a stroller on board that uh, doesn't want to be folded and the baby doesn't want to be taken out. Um, I just wanted to let you know so uh, I'd be covered. Okay, well, Trimet's policy is that the baby has to be taken out of the stroller. We can still roll without them folding up the stroller, but for safety's sake, they have to take the baby out of the stroller. Well, I'm I'm rolling now. Mm -hmm. I'm still rolling. Should I pull over yes. and have a conversation with them? I can call this guy yes. yes. If you can pull over and let them know, Trimus policy and safety is the big. Just fucking drive. If you're gonna call goddamn dispatch, they're gonna not. They're gonna mess with you. They're gonna say, "Don't do it." Fifty-four seventy-three. I got your ADA tied up. What's going on? I'm not able to deploy the wheelchair ramp. Okay, I got it. The emergency parking brake engage. I got it. Neil, transmission in neutral. And I'm not able to deploy the ramp. And it's not illuminating here where it says ramp power. 
Okay, let's have you put it in. Let's have you turn the bus all the way off. Here, you um, charge it. We're gonna need it. Like night park, do everything yeah, you would do, like you you're ending at the garage. Yeah. Okay, I turn yeah, off the power. Let's let it sit for a few minutes and then uh, start the bus back up. Make sure all the gauges do their thing. He's been up and all night. See if we can get power to it. Seventy five oh four. Seventy five oh four, I got your request to talk. How can I help you? Uh, yes, a uh, uh, young lady and her son boarding the bus. Son looks to be roughly about five or six years old, and uh, he just runs towards the back and uh, slipped and tripped in, uh, on the steps. But she said he's fine, no medical attention. As a matter of fact, they're uh, exiting the bus now. Okay, and where did this happen? Uh, when I called you about two or three minutes ago. Okay, and your location, is that at 21st and Jackson? Uh, no ma'am, I'm uh, on a uh, wall right now. It was, it was the stop before a uh, wall. Okay, fall on the step. Woman had an accident in the seat. Straight him out, straight him out. 6267, Murray and Osprey. Hello, 6267, sorry about that. Um, Look, how can I help you? Yeah, we got a biohazard on one of my seats. Uh, uh, there's a woman who had an accident on my seat. Okay, let's see. So is it one of the uh, ADA seats, possibly? Yeah, that's correct. It's uh, one of the small ADA seats right behind me. I've flipped it up and I put some tape on it and uh, still continuing on my drive towards Washington Square. Okay, let's see. How many people do you have on board right now? There's about uh, 12, 13, somewhere around there. All right, copy. Uh, let's see. Train them out. Get rid of it. Get them out. Yeah. Pill Hill Crazy Woman. 802. Hey, 802. I got your customer contact. What's going on? I picked this person up at the top of the hill in front of the hospital, and I've made it down to six, and I'm... Not sure what I'm supposed to do. She definitely seems to be on some sort of intoxicant, swinging her feet around in the aisles. Uh, just a second ago, she was laying on her back in the seats with her feet up on t almost to the ceiling. Her stuff keeps falling out everywhere. She's <laughs> All right, copy. Are you pulled over right now? I am. I'm at, I'm at 6th and Clay. Okay, pull over. Tie the bus up. Tell her, sorry, but her actions are unsafe and you're not moving the bus. And please, sir, supervisor, en route. Copy, thank you. Can I get a, can I get a description? We don't need to hear the description. What's going on? She's overdosing. She just urinated all over the place. She's all over the floor, kicking, screaming. Okay, I'm on the phone with 911. Um, tell your other passengers to deboard. They already got off the bus. She's overdosing. She got up and fell face first into the bar. Oh my god. 802. 802 6 and Clay. Hey, what's going on now? So she just got up and fell into the bar, the yellow bar, and then fell off the bus. Okay, so she got up and fell face forward into the yellow bar with like the overhead ones? No, the handrail up where you buy tickets. Okay, please turn route. Um, is she bleeding? Do you see any injuries? There's urine and blood all over the bus. There's some blood on the sidewalk. She got up the way. Okay, I'm going to call them back. You hang out there. Okay, 1451. She bled everywhere. Mm. She's a man. She's a man. Oh, no. Uh, a couple things. OCC managers checking to see if we can't um, put a priority download on that. And um, sending 735 to that warming bus request. They're going to be on 103rd between uh, Washington and Stark. Yeah, there's a Bank of America. That's where they'd like it. Um, uh, they're going to take the witnesses in there to interview them. And I already notified this operator that uh, uh, she's done. 
Uh, they may take her someplace to interview her, and I'll keep you updated. They're keeping me in the loop. They're keeping him in the loop. The shooting, here's a shooting. 9109, I am on start. Headed west. Okay, the further info I have is this is a chase involving an armed robbery suspect. And they actually did uh, take the guy out with guns, and I think 2038 witnessed it. So, um, definitely going to need to supervise the response to that bus operator. Well, I'm at 113th. Uh, I'll be there. Mm. Mm. That must have been fun. 2435 on 19th. Mm. Yeah, 2435, got your request. Talk, how can I help? So, this is really hard to explain, and I, hard, I hate to be a pain, but there's something with this brake pedal that's going on that I really think it should get looked at. It's like creaking, it, it's just, it's not normal, and it, like, I, like I said, it's really hard to explain, but when you like press on it, it's like you almost have to press harder sometimes, sometimes not so hard, and it makes a really funny noise when you press on it. Okay, I copy. Um, let me see, where are you right now? I'm at 19th in Rally. I'm about to be at my layover till 223. Okay. Yeah, junk bus. Often involved shooting. See, there it is. Cha Cha got the story. Let's see. Heard the gunshots too. Like four a man who lives nearby took this video shortly after one person was shot and killed by police at Southeast Stark and 103rd Sunday kill afternoon. Him, him. The video shows police, more police cars and an ambulance arrive. Predators, In police radio traffic, you can hear the call for medics go out. For any paramedics or fire crews near 103rd and Stark, police have shots fired with someone down. Again, that's 103rd and Stark. Go straight in, it's shots fired by the police, suspect down, northwest corner of 103rd and Stark. Update for engine 7 and medic 310, there's no pulse. Yeah, this, is a problem. This, is a, is this a police shooting or what's, what's going on here? Police fired, suspects down. Uh, yeah, I was scared. I was worried. Andrew Chavez works in the area and says he was walking down the street when the shooting happened. Well, I was coming across the street from right over here, coming toward Wells Fargo. When I crossed the street, I seen the cops chasing somebody in a, in a little white car and when I when a, by the time I looked around I seen I heard yelling a bunch of screaming and then I heard two gunshots and a person hit the ground tomorrow's gonna be 60 well tonight we still don't know the name of the man who was killed that will be released later no one else was hurt in the shooting and police did say they used less lethal rounds as well if you know anything and haven't talked to detectives you're asked to call Portland police oh. Okay, how do you get rid of this? Okay, I got that covered. Ninety one oh nine. Ninety one oh nine. Uh I'm gonna kinda be tied up here for a while. Uh I'm with the operator, she's doing okay. Uh they're probably gonna pull the uh, video. Um uh, but I'm gonna remain on the scene. Uh it's all blocked off. There's no way to get this bus out of here. And then uh, I already talked to an officer. They're going to want the uh, video pulled. Pull the video. Chachi. And we'll do one more. 35. 735. Okay. Um, it'll be northbound. So it's just going to be in between Washington and Stark. I said once you just a little south of the Bank of America. So it'll be closer to the Washington side. Okay, I'm on my way. And 734. All right, there's a fill. Oh, what else? Anything? OCC manager. Can't. Okay. Uh, a couple things. OCC managers checking to see if we can't um, put a priority download on that. And um, sending 735 for that warming bus request. They're going to be on 103rd between uh, Washington and Stark. Yeah, there's a Bank of America. That's where they'd like it. Um, uh, they're going to take the witnesses in there to interview them. And I've already notified this operator that uh, uh, she's done. Uh, they may take her someplace to interview her, and I'll keep you updated. They're keeping me in the loop. 
I'm keeping him in the loop. Oh boy, what a name. Okay, next. Hey, one and nine, we have the bus in position in the parking lot of the Bank of America. And uh, police have been notified. 9109, I copy. Um, I have a 15 North. All right, buses in position. Any more on this one? 9106. 9106, five and data. I copy. Uh, we just uh, heard back from 802. We'll be sending medical. She just, it's medical, excuse me. Um, we now have bio on the bus, and it seems like it might be an overdosing situation. Copy that. And do we have an extra service to do a trade with that bus? Uh, affirmative. That was my next step. Thank you. They got it. They got it. They got it. What do we got here? This is a different story. Let's see what this story is. Yeah, no video. Forget it. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll end it there. That's up like an hour. Yeah, an hour.